Miami Hurricanes verbal commit five-star cornerback Cormani McLean. He remains unsigned, but for those looking for clues as to what he's thinking, we got a big one today. You are Locked on Canes, your daily podcast on the Miami Hurricanes, part of the Locked on Podcast Network, your team every day. I'm Alex Dono, your host. I'm a University of Miami alumnus, longtime South Florida sports radio vet and contributor to allhurricanes.com. Thank you so much for making Locked on Canes your first watch today. So the saga of Cormani McLean. Miami verbal commit. He was all set to put pen to paper on Wednesday, National Signing Day last week to make it official to sign his letter of intent to the University of Miami. He no-showed his ceremony at his high school, Lakeland High School. They had an orange and green cake for him and everything. He didn't make it to that ceremony. His mother tweeted out earlier that day that Cormani would not be signing on Wednesday. Uh, that carried over into Thursday, didn't sign on Thursday, didn't sign on Friday, and that ended the early signing period. The soonest Cormani McLean can actually sign a national letter of intent to Miami or anywhere else is going to be February 1st. That's late signing day. In the meantime, rumors, speculation have been swirling. Coach Prime, Colorado, are they trying to get in there and poach Cormani? Reports uh, from Steve Wiltfong of 24-7 Sports that Colorado was in contact with McLean as recently as last week. Uh, there have also been rumors and reports that the Alabama Crimson Tide are trying to get back in the mix. That was one of Cormani's finalists. It was Miami, Alabama, and Florida. It's been pretty quiet on the Gators front, but people have been looking at Colorado and Alabama as potential options to basically steal McLean away from Miami. In the meantime, there have been a lot of rumors that maybe there are academic things at play here. We found out McLean will not be graduating Lakeland High School early. So he cannot early enroll at Miami uh, and that based on whatever might be going on behind the scenes with his transcripts, because he transferred from Lake Gibson to Lakeland High, that there may be a hold up there. These are a lot of rumors that have been going around uh, that maybe those are the reasons why he hasn't signed yet. A lot of folks saying, don't worry, he's locked in with Miami, while other people are saying Colorado, Alabama, watch out. OK, and since that time. We've been basically, we've been like teenagers following his social media, seeing is he posting something on Instagram? Is he posting anything on Twitter? Uh, this is one of the bigger clues that we've gotten in recent days. So um, this is courtesy of Demetric D. Warren, who is the Under Armour All-America Game Player Personnel Director. And Cormani McLean is taking part in the Under Armour All-America Game. He's one of the best high school players in the country top-ranked cornerback in the class. He, according to Mr. Warren, Cormani McLean, was the first check-in for the Under Armour 2023 game. Uh, so this is Cormani McLean. Let me enlarge the picture even bigger here, depending on what size of a screen you're watching. This is Cormani McLean on Wednesday, and he is wearing a University of Miami hoodie. He's got UM shorts on, and he's throwing up the U. So he's either the greatest troll of all time or Cormani is trying to say it loud and clear on Wednesday, the 28th of December, 2022, that he is looking forward to playing at the University of Miami. Has not signed his national letter of intent yet, but there is Cormani McLean on the 28th of December wearing UM gear from head to toe and throwing up the U. Does it mean anything? Probably. Possibly. Maybe not. He's wearing more UM gear than I'm wearing right now. So you guys let me know in the comments. At Locked on Canes on Twitter. Or in the YouTube comments. Does this make you feel pretty, pretty, pretty good. As a University of Miami supporter. To see Cormani McLean rocking the U gear. And throwing up the U. At the Under Armour All-America game. Was the very first player to check in. And folks, if this is your first time watching us, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Leave a thumbs up, a like on this video. You can subscribe to the audio version of Locked on Canes as well. We bring you Miami Hurricanes football updates and sometimes basketball as well. 
every single day, part of the awesome Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day.